Hello and welcome to Delightful, Delicious, Delovely. My name is Christina Lees and today I am going to be making a vegan aloo palak, which is an Indian spinach curry with potatoes. Without further ado, we can get going. I'm going to start with a pan. Surprise, surprise. I'm going to add a tablespoon or so of coconut oil. You could use vegetable oil or olive oil or any oil of your choice. I happen to have this coconut oil here, so I'm going to be using that. When this pan gets very hot, I'm going to add three red, uh, medium-sized red potatoes that I diced. In fact, put one in there now, let this get hot. When it gets hot, I'll be back. Okay, what I did rather than stopping and starting and stopping and starting was I just cooked them till they're browned on as many sides as possible. I even went in there sort of one by one and flipped them because some of these potato little guys in here are... Uh, Fight back. I only want to cook on one side. You want to get them browned on at least, you know, two sides. Get them cooked most of the way through. And then simply I have a bowl here with a little paper towel in it to drain off a little of the extra oil. Oops, making a mess. Um, I'm going to put those aside. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Put those aside for later. Now, I think there's enough residual oil in here. I'm going to just add one diced onion, and three, this is my, to my taste, three chopped jalapenos. I like food hot. Three might be too much for you. One might be too much for you. So you're going to have to do the jalapeno quantity to your own, to your own taste. And I'm going to just soften these onions a bit. Give me a second. I'll be back. Okay. These look nice and soft. I'm going to push them to the side in the pan so that I can add just a tiny bit more coconut oil. Let that get hot. So I can add a teaspoon of, easy for me to say, cumin seeds. A teaspoon of cumin seeds. Whole ones, not ground up. And I want to wait until they sputter in this pan. When they start sputtering and get fragrant, they kind of pop a little bit. Mmm, smells good. You're just toasting it, really. All right, I think that's ready. Now I'm going to add the rest of the spices. I'm going to add a teaspoon of ground cumin. A teaspoon of ground coriander. Teaspoon of turmeric, turmeric. Supposed to be really good for you, this stuff. It's got a nice flavor, too. And a teaspoon of chili powder. You could omit this if you don't like spicy food. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of garam. Oop, shoot, that's not a tablespoon. A tablespoon of garam masala. And a teaspoon of ground fenugreek. If you don't have ground fenugreek, I hear that um, celery seeds can work. So I'm going to use a teaspoon of ground fenugreek. Again, you can omit it or use celery seeds instead. To this, I'm going to add a tablespoon each of ground, oops, ground uh, garlic. A tablespoon of ground garlic. That's a heavy-handed tablespoon. And I have a pretty heavy-handed tablespoon of ground ginger, fresh ginger here. Now earlier, I took about a pound of spinach. It was actually just under a pound. So I added some, um, I added some kale. I added some kale that I had wilting in the fridge too. So I have about a pound of, of greens, of bulk, vast uh, majority of which is spinach. I put it in boiling water for, I just immersed it for like 30 seconds in, in boiling water and then I drained it in the sink and ran cold water over it. I put that in the pan here too. That's our spinach. You might want to, I'm going to actually add a little bit of water to this. Hang on a second. I'm going to use it for water. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. I'm actually not going to add water. Hold on a sec. I'm going to puree it. You can puree it with an immersion hold on. An immersion blender or in a food processor or in a blender. You might have to add a little water to get it to blend up nicely. We'll see if I can avoid that. Not a big deal if I have to though. You could go up to two pounds of spinach in this. This is not making a very much. Spinach reduces so incredibly. I think we'll have to add some water to this. Let me get some uh, measuring cup, hold on. Okay, I've got the water if I need it. I'm gonna pulse this, blend it. And I just, I don't really need it, but I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water to make it creamier. Okay. This now goes back into the pan. As I was saying, you could use a full two pounds of spinach in this recipe without really even adjusting the spice as much. Because spinach reduces so incredibly. I mean, this was a, it was a container of spinach. It was like, it was like a baby coffin. It was huge and it, this is like enough for two people with some rice. All right, get the rest of this out of here really quickly. And then that's kind of it. You want to season it with salt and pepper to taste. And the last little thing you do is stir in your call, <clears throat> excuse me, either a little bit of vegan sour cream or a little bit of vegan cream cheese. I have both here. I think I'm going to off with my spoon. I need a spoon. Um, I'm going to put in a quarter cup of cream, vegan cream cheese. This is tofuti. Cream cheese, I also have tofuti sour cream. Six of one, really. And you just want to blend that in there. And when you get, and this, the amount of cream or creaminess, whether you use sour cream or cream cheese, or even any of the other vegan soft cheeses, a lot of them on the market now. Um, Tree Line makes a bunch of nice ones. Miyoko makes a bunch of nice ones. Um, so you just add that in there to, the, to, what, to your taste, really. And then add back potatoes. Stir those guys in. And that's it. That is my recipe for aloo palak. A creamy spinach curry with potatoes. And that is it. Um, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, I welcome commentary. If you have some suggestions of things you'd like me to try to make, I will be happy to field those. Uh, this is my Instagram account and my Twitter account. I do a whole full life <laughs> sort of exposure over there of my career and things I think are funny and my dogs and my life, not just food. So, all right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye.